हेलो दिस इज प्रोबेबिलिटी लेसन 3.1 पॉइंट वन इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन ऑन मल्टीप्लीकेशन थ्योरम द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सोलविंग द क्वेश्चन करेक्टली इज वन बाय थ्री वट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट एट लीस्ट वन आउट ऑफ फोर क्वेश्चन इज सोल्व करेक्टली नाउ एट लीस्ट वन मीन्स दैट एट लीस्ट वन एट लीस्ट वन मीन्स दैट मिनिमम वन टू मैक्सिमम एट लीस्ट वन मीन्स मिनिमम वन टू मैक्सिमम फोर क्वेश्चन यू कैन सोल्व इधर यू हैव सोल्व वन क्वेश्चन one question is correct and three questions are wrong or you have two questions are correct two are wrong three are correct one is wrong or all four are correct zero is wrong now one question is correct then there will be cases which one is correct now in this case either question number 1 can be correct correct and question number 2 3 and 4 are not correct bar means not correct or it could be question number 1 is not correct 2 is correct 3 is not correct and 4 is not correct so there will be so many cases and so many is is be very lengthy if you go by calculating the probability events are independent because probability of solving one question does not depends upon the solving the probability of other question now in this way it will be very difficult so better is that probability that you have solved at least one question at least one question correctly this will be equals to 1 minus probability that none of the question is solved correctly none of the questions is solved correctly none of the question is solved correctly that that will be quite easy now what it means that none of the question it means that probability that question number 1 is not solved bar and question number 2 is also not solved correctly and question number 3 is also not correctly and question number 4 is also not solved correctly now you know that events are independent why so by common sense you can say that by common sense you can say that events are independent why so because you will solve second question wrong does not depends upon whether you first was wrong or not there is no you can say that psychological you can say that some virus or psychological stimulus that you have done the first question wrong and you will definitely do second question wrong there is there is, there is no connection of you solving first question wrong and second question wrong as well first question right second question wrong so these events solving questions are independent events you have done first question wrong the second question will not depend whether first question is wrong or right you will solve second question independently with respect to first question so these are independent events and given that probability of solving the question correctly question correctly is for every question this is 1 by 3 probability is that question is not solved correctly this will be 1 minus 1 by 3 that would be 2 by 3 so what we need to calculate we need to calculate the probability that he has not solved even a single question correctly that is now events are independent as i told you that in case of independent event probabilities will get multiplied this is probability of q1 probability of q2 bar probability of q3 bar into probability of q4 bar the bar means that probability of not solving the question one correctly this is 1 minus not solving the question correctly is 2 by 3 this is 2 by 3 this is 2 by 3 this is 2 by 3 so this is equals to 1 minus 2 by 3 power 4 this is 1 minus 16 by 81 this is equals to 65 by 81 will be your final answer 65 by 81 is the probability that you have solved at least one question correctly now this question you comes in exam you can solve this question under 30 seconds the only thing is that probability of solving one question at least one question correctly is probability that none of those question is solved correctly as events are independent probabilities will get, will get multiplied second question is a a speaks truth in 60% of the cases and b in 80% of the cases 
इट मीन्स दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट ए स्पीक्स ट्रूथ ए सिक्सटी परसेंट मीन्स थ्री बाय फाइव सिक्सटी परसेंट मीन्स थ्री बाय फाइव ए विल नॉट स्पीक ट्रूथ दिस इज टू बाय फाइव बिकॉज इधर ही विल स्पीक ट्रूथ और ही विल नॉट स्पीक ट्रूथ सो प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ नॉट स्पीकिंग ट्रूथ बार दिट विल बी वन माइनस थ्री बाय फाइव दिस इज टू बाय फाइव प्रोबिलिटी दैट बी इज स्पीकिंग ट्रूथ दिस इज ए नॉट स्पीकिंग सॉरी ए इज स्पीकिंग ट्रूथ ए टी मीन्स ए इज स्पीकिंग ट्रूथ एंड ए इज नॉट स्पीकिंग ट्रूथ दिस इज टू बाय फाइव प्रोबिलिटी दैट बी इज स्पीकिंग ट्रूथ इज एट्टी परसेंट दिस फोर बाय फाइव B is not speaking truth. This is one minus four by five, and that will be one by five. Now, question says that in what percentage of the cases they are likely to contradict each other, narrating the same incident. Contradict means that when A will speak the truth, B will lie, or when B will speak the truth, A will lie. Contradict means that A will speak the truth. and b will not speak the truth they have to contradict each other or the case could be that a is not speaking a truth but b is speaking the truth that is what we need to find now first thing you need to check whether the events are independent or they are dependent now you can see that event in this case are independent because that a whatever speaks does not depends upon what b will speak and whatever b will speak does not depends on what a will speak so these are independent events they are independent human beings so they are not connected with each other, with each other in some way or other way that if a will speak the truth then b has higher probability of speaking the truth there is no such scenario these are independent events whatever a will speak does not depends on what b will speak so the probability of a speaking truth and b speaking not truth so we need to find this probabilities now as events are independent as events are independent the probabilities will get multiplied a is speaking truth and this b is not speaking truth or means plus probability that a is not speaking truth and probability that b is speaking truth a is speaking truth probability is 3 by 5 b is not speaking truth this is 1 by 5 a is not speaking truth this is 2 by 5 B speaking to this is four by five, so this is three by fifteen plus eight by fifteen. Sorry, three by twenty-five, eight by twenty-five. This is eleven by twenty-five will be our final answer. Eleven by twenty-five will be our final answer. Question three is three mountainers A, B, and C are climbing up a mountain with their respective probability of reaching the summit. Summit means top, being one by five, one by four, and one by three respectively. now first thing you can observe that events are independent events are independent as that probability that a will reach the mountain top does not depends on whether b will reach or not they three are different human beings the probability of reaching the top are different it does not mean that if a has reached the top then b has higher chances that e will also reach the top the same is true with the exams if a b and c are giving aptitude exam for example if you your friend and your some other friend is giving exam the probability that all of you will pass does not depends upon whether somebody will pass or not if a will pass the exam does not mean that b will also pass the exam you are independent students your passing the exams are independent same with this case a b and c are mounting the uh, climbing up the mountain if a has climbed the mountain that would mean that b will climb so they are independent to each other so independent events so probability that a will climb the mountain pa is a 1 by 5 a will not climb the mountain this will be 1 minus 1 by 5 4 by 5 probability that b will climb the mountain is 1 by 4 probability that b will not climb the mountain is 3 by 4 probability that c will climb the mountain is 1 by 3 probability that c will not climb up the mountain is 2 by 3 now what the first question says that what is the probability that all of them reach the summit all three of them reach the top it means that probability that a has also reached the top 
एंड बी हैज रीड द टॉप एंड सी हैज ऑल्सो रीच द टॉप एज इवेंट्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट द प्रोबेबिलिटी विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड पी ए इंटू पी बी इंटू पी सी दिस विल बी इक्वल्स टू वन बाय फाइव इंटू वन बाय फोर इंटू वन बाय थ्री वन बाय सिक्सटी विल बी द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट ऑल थ्री ऑफ दैम हैव रीच द टॉप नाउ At least one of them reached the summit. Now, at least one of them, there will be several possible cases. One have reached the summit. One means which one? A has reached, B and C has not reached. B has reached, A and C has not reached. C has reached, B and A are not reached. Or it could be like this: two have reached the summit. Now, this will make the concept bit more complicated. Better is that you know, probability that. at least one person has reached the summit is equals to 1 minus probability that none has reached the summit none has reached the summit this is equals to probability 1 minus probability that neither a has reached the summit a bar and b has also reached reached the top has not reached the top c has also c does not also reach the top This is equals to one minus probability of a bar into probability of b bar into probability of c bar. This is what. So this will be equals to one minus a bar probability is four by five. B bar probability is three by four into two by three. So this will four to four will get cancel out. Three to three will get cancel out. This is one minus two by five. Three by five will be the probability that at least one of them has reached the top third part is exactly one of them has reached the top now exactly one of them in which one we will take the gap a has reached the top but b and c has not reached the top this one exactly one means either of them either a will reach the top or probability that b has reached but A and C has not reached, or probability that C has reached and A and B has not reached, because exactly one of them is reaching the top or summit. Now, as events are independent, you have to multiply this probability of A into probability of B bar into probability of C bar plus probability of B into probability of A bar. Into probability of C bar plus probability of C probability of A bar into probability of B bar. This we need to multiply. You know that probability of A is probability of A is one by five. One by five. A bar would be four by five here, and four by five. What is the probability of B reaching the top? B was one by four. B bar was three by four. So B bar is three by four here, here three by four, and B is one by four. This will get multiplied. Same way, probability of C was one by three, and not reaching two by three. So it's not reaching two by three, not reaching two by three, reaching one by three. So this will become six by sixty plus. Eight by sixty plus twelve by sixty. This is twenty-six by sixty. We can thirteen by thirty is the probability that at least one of them will reach the. Not at least exactly one of them will reach the summit. So that's how you can solve these kind of questions. Important thing is that you have to judge by your common sense whether the events are independent or dependent. So that was all about probability lesson three point one questions on multiplication theorem. Thank you.